Heavy breathing little bird. Six letters. Starts with? P. Penguin. Too long. Can I have a swim, please? 180. Can I have some soap as well? The soap in the ladies' showers. When have you been in the ladies' showers? Every chance I get. Is that a good book? It's all right. You've always got your head in a book. Have you been here before? Every Sunday. Aye, she's been here every Sunday, aye. How come I didn't notice that? You must wear a disguise. I couldn't sit in my arse all day reading a book. It's not good for your arse. Aye, well, enjoy your swim. Puffin. I forgot my towel. How much? 50 pence, but you can pay me later. You might not be here. I'll be here. When's your break? I've had my break. Ah, he's had his break. I had his break about an hour ago. I had mine about an hour before that. It's lovely in there. I did 50 lengths. You can't your death out here. I've not got the money. Pay me next time. I used it all up in the hairdryer. It's all right, pay me next time. Are you closing? In a while. It's closing time. I've got to wait a bit. Where's your pal? He's gone home. Can I close up with you, big man? No. Don't forget that 50 pence. Have the polish on you. Do you want a ride? Oh, it's you. Nah, it's all right. I'm getting a taxi. Well, let's call and cancel. Nah, it's all right. I know my driver. I'm a nurse. Are you now? I mean, I know how to lift folk. Good for you. You're a horrid lassie, aren't you? Aye. Do you not like me, big man? Get to fuck, will you? She coming too, Kenny? No. Maybe we should start without Barney. What's that thing where you're chronically late in order to get attention? Kenny, do you want to sit on the sofa? I'm all right. We could move you. Yes, I can take one side. I'm all right. Okay. That's a brilliant cake, Jonathan. Thank you, Rap. Did anyone hear that wind last night? Oof. My sister stays at Rothley. She said that it was coming down cats and dogs. I heard it was bad, yeah. Hello, everyone. Well, here we all are again, eh? What a charming house you have, Dirka. Thank you. Yes! Oh, did everybody enjoy the book? Now, I have to say I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, it's bad, but it's not that bad. Um, did somebody ask Barney to start? Oh. Brilliant. Is this Dutch ice cream? Huh? No, it has a Dutch name, but Fist says it isn't Dutch. Is that right? I think cake tastes better with ice cream. It gives it moisture. Why? Heaven. Is that PlayStation? PlayStation 2. We have driver. Brilliant! Come on, Kenny. You're the polis. No, you're the polis. I'm the car in front. <laughs> Again? You are brilliant at those high speed turns, Janice. I play Janice next. No, I'll play Janice next. Rob. You 
never just before. I'm my guest. You can play driver any time you want. Okay, Rav, why don't you play Durka and I'll do the washing. Play with me. Ach, I've had enough of driver. You don't want to play with me? Leave it, will you? What? We're meant to be talking about books. We could play charades. Book titles. You start. It's a book, aye. Right? Whole thing. Okay, all right. Ear. Two ears. Four ears. Hundreds of ears. Is there a book called Ears? I haven't heard of that. Fifth word. Salt. Tube. Salt tube. You're one. You're all alone. You're all alone with a hundred years in the salt tube. One hundred years of solitude! Yes! Hey! By no means his best work. What? <sighs> I think you should read Love in the Time of Cholera. It's lesser known, but far superior. It's beautiful. What are you talking about? Books! We're deciding what to read next time, no? What are we going to read? Barney wants us to read a book about cholera. <laughs> so, like, who in the world is going to want me this, like, emotional wreck to be camping out in their spare room? I have a spare room. Wow. That is so, like, leap and the net appears, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll say. Claire. Everyone's gone home. Oh. Do you want to share my taxi? Hmm. Okay. I guess. Come on. So next time we meet at Barney's and we read a book about cholera. Hi. You have a lovely home. Thank you. Do you have any children? Not yet, but someday. I'm sure they'll be good-looking Swedish children. Thank you. Come on, Cleo. Lovely evening, yeah? Tough to be on your own in a new town. That's the People's Palace. And that's Glasgow Green. It's all right during the daytime, but don't go there on your own after dark. You know? I'll remember that. Because, like, I have a habit of going into public parks alone at night. I will skip that one, OK? That's the Tron Tower. They reckon that's the oldest place in Glasgow. They used to put prisoners there, and the more evil you were, the higher they put you. What did they do with all the ordinary-looking people? I think they burned them. You know, Kenny, I seem to be feeling sorry for myself a lot lately. And then I look at you. And you feel really sorry? No, I don't. Because you seem to be like a pretty happy guy. I will. Things haven't been going too well with me health-wise. Oh, no. I'm not one to go on about it. No. There's been internal complications. Oh, Kenny. My doctors say, if I don't get laid tonight, I'm going to have kidney failure. Kidney failure? Aye. Don't put me in an iron lung. You mean a dialysis machine? It affects your lungs as well. Right. So, like, you'd be doing me a huge favour, medically speaking. Right. Nothing to do with you and me, of course. No. The health thing. Right. Good night, gorgeous. Is it to the hospital now, Kenny? Aye. 